Hey guys, today I'm back with my monthly makeup basket. As always, I'm going to be showing you what's in my acrylic organizer, which is linked below. Um, this is on top of my vanity, so basically it's some new products that I hope to use this month along with just some other products that I kind of decided to grab for and try to be more mindful to use. So primarily it's new makeup, but we've got a few kind of older throwback things in here too, so let's go ahead and get started. The newest addition to my monthly makeup basket is actually skincare because I thought it was a good way for me to kind of chat about some new things that I'm trying or new things that I've gotten in. So the first is from Biotherm. This is their Life Plankton Essence and essences seem to be kind of all the rage lately. So I've only used this once or twice but it feels really nice. Essentially you use it as your first step. You can use it after toner or sometimes I use it in place of toner and I've been using the new Fresh Kombucha Essence at night. So, so far I don't have a ton of thoughts on it but it does feel really nice and it's hydrating but it feels kind of like water so it's not heavy by any means. This mask here from Rodeal, I've actually used this probably three or four times now and I really like it. So it is the Vitamin C Brightening Mask. So it has 5% Vitamin C along with AHAs and glycolic acid, which I'm trying to incorporate into my routine more to help with any of the scarring and just general like kind of brightness of my skin. So this is a really nice, easy way to do it because it's only about a 10, 15 minute mask and then you just wash it off and you kind of get your treatment. So, so far so good. It doesn't burn or anything like that. And I feel like it leaves my skin looking really, really really good. Another mask I've been liking, as you can see, I've got my grimy fingerprint on it there. I mentioned it in a recent Get Ready With Me, but this is the Origins Clear Improvements Charcoal Honey Mask to Purify and Nourish. And in that video, I mentioned liking the color of it. It's like this charcoal color with a gold running through it. So it's a clay mask, but it takes like a really long time to dry on the skin. And it has those nourishing properties of honey, but you're also getting kind of the, the charcoal in there too. So great for combination skin, great for oily skin uh, and I've had a really good experience with it so far again it feels like it kind of hydrates the skin but you also have those benefits of kind of removing any of the oils and dirt and whatnot from your skin so it's a really nice balanced mask this is new to me I just got it today but I wanted to add it in and just kind of mention it quickly this is the Avon a new hydrofusion gel cream and you know I love a gel cream so I have high hopes for this there is a corresponding or a coordinating an accompanying serum that has hyaluronic acid. So I'm really excited to see more gel creams, more lightweight moisturizers entering the market. I feel like I'm just spoiled for choice now with oily skin. So I'm gonna have to try this out, but the texture feels really nice and light so far. I have two sprays here. The first is from Fresh. This is their Vitamin Nectar Anti Antioxidant Glow Water. It's a skin nutrition face mist and it has um, vitamins, fruits in there, and it feels amazing. This I've been using on no makeup days. I'll spray it on my face before the gym. It just feels really good smells like vitamins so so far I've been liking that it's not really like a setting spray it's more of a skincare item and then this is the derma blend power setter two-in-one set and refresh makeup setting spray so I actually haven't tried this I got this uh, just a couple days ago but I am always so impressed with derma blend so I'm sure this will be great so in here we have primers and foundations first up from makeup forever this is their matte velvet skin I they sent me another deeper shade if you saw my get ready with me I was using Y415 so this is Y415 for 25 which is a little bit better for the tan I have right now and I will be reviewing this but spoiler alert I love it then from Bobbi Brown this is their stick foundation they also sent me their uh, like their newest long wear skin foundation so I need to review both of those this I have reviewed it's just the new packaging the Becca ultimate coverage 24-hour foundation and I was wearing this in my wet n wild review got so many compliments on my skin so I actually did film like a, a little tutorial showing that kind of complexion uh, complexion look so that is on Instagram and I will link that down below sometimes I don't get to link things in these videos because I have so many things that I link to that YouTube um, stops me so that's why sometimes there's things missing but next up we have the it cosmetics CC plus oil-free matte so I feel like this has been a long time in the works I'm excited to try it I have the shade neutral tan I think it might be a little light so I'm gonna need to try it out I haven't tried it yet and then lastly for foundation I have this from Laneige and I've never tried their makeup but I love their skincare and this is the BB cushion Hydra radiance so again lots of foundations to test then when it comes to primer 
primers. I have the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I feel like a lot of people with oily skin like this, so I'm going to give that a try. The Sephora Beauty Amplifier. This is their mattifying primer. I've heard great things about this. And then new from Derma Blend. It is their Insta Grip Jelly Primer. So that sounds very, very positive. And then I have been testing out, but still need to continue testing the Fenty Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. But so far, so good with this guy. So here we have concealers, mascaras, eyeliners, and brow stuff. So for concealers, this is quite new to me. It is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer. So that is in that Instagram video if you'd like to see it. Then the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I love this. I've got a full review on it. And then I thought I would dig this guy out because I haven't worn it since... Um, probably the summer, but I really did like this. Um, not the summer, the spring, I guess it was. Uh, but this is the Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Concealer for mascaras. I used this in my most recent Get Ready With Me and I was so impressed. It's from It Cosmetics. It's their superhero mascara. This is brand new from NARS. I'm sure you saw <laughs> all of the photos of it. I actually, I watched um, Crispy. If you watch Crispy, she had like a vacation vlog that went up. I watched it and then fell asleep and then had a dream that I was in Paris with like all of the YouTubers and oh my god it was such a long dream and I woke up exhausted. But anyways, this is their Climax mascara so I haven't tried that yet. Two colored mascaras. This is super cool from L'Oreal. They've released their Voluminous Original in a beautiful burgundy color which I think is super cool. And then from Wet n Wild, this has been out for a little while, but I just got it in the mail because they're running a really cool program this month. So this is the Lash Renegade. I've worn it in black before, but this is in the shade Avenging Amethyst. And I'm just reading off the card here. It says that um, they're a cruelty-free brand, but they're going kind of the extra step and it says a portion of proceeds of every Lash Renegade mascara in black plus Avenging Amethyst uh, sold throughout the month of August goes directly to an organized to the organization to aid rehabilitation of injured and orphaned wildlife. So the organization is the Appalachian Wildlife Refuge, with, which I think is super cool. And then um, they're also collecting old mascara wands for the organization and they use it to groom the fur or the feathers to remove fly eggs and tiny insects, which I think is amazing. So if you want more information on that, go to wetandwildbeauty.com slash wands for wildlife. So that is something that you can do all year round, which I think is so cool. And I really need to um, take part in that. Then from It Cosmetics, this is their superhero liner. I haven't tried this yet, but I did want to mention this. I feel like a lot of people didn't like it, but it's actually one of my favorite eyeliners. It's the Maybelline Master Precise Curvy. So I really enjoyed that. New from Catrice, no, uh, maybe not new, new to me from Catrice. This is their eyeliner pen and very exciting news. Catrice is now on the Shoppers Drug Mart new website, which is so, so freaking exciting. So I definitely plan on placing an order. And then Catrice had sent me a few items, so I'll probably do a video on that. Then from Mary Kay, this is their new brow precision liner, and I really like it. This has seen better days. It's the uh, Kiss Top Brow. I, I broke the bottom off and lost the cap, but it still works. Great brow pencil. And then the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. So here we have powders and bronzers. Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to set my under eyes. The Urban Decay All Nighter. I used this in my recent full face testing waterproof makeup. Dump my head in the ocean, etc., etc. That will be linked down below. EX1 Pure Crushed Minerals Powder Foundation. I used this in a Get Ready With Me, I think. Um, but I want to test it out some more. And then from Becca, this is their Hydromus Powder. Have you tried this? Wow. It's insane. I didn't really watch any reviews and I didn't see a lot about it, but when I tried it on my face, it literally feels like water. It's crazy and it feels super, super smooth. Then from Charlotte Tilbury, I think this is an amazing contour product. It's their contour wand and it's just so blendable, so easy to put on the face. From Annabelle, I have their Perfect Bronzer. The Balm Take Home the Bronze is a really great bronzer as well. And then a new one to me anyways from Nude by Nature. All of these things look so dirty. On to uh, highlight and blush from the new Wet n Wild Zodiac collection. This is their Fire Highlighter. It's my favorite of the bunch and I'll link to my review and demo down below. From Clinique, this is actually an eyeshadow, but I think it might make a good highlighter. So I put it in there to try. It's in the shade Petal Pop. Then from Pixie, I used this in a Get Ready With Me. Again, I'm going to try and link everything, but YouTube always slows me down here because I mentioned like a hundred products in this video. This is in Subtle Sunrise. I actually used another shade in that Get Ready With Me. And then from Kiko, this is the Metal Fusion Highlighter Drops, and these are really beautiful. 
For blushes, uh, the NARS liquid blushes are incredible and I have not been reaching for them. This was actually limited edition. It's in the shade Hot Tin Roof, but they've got a bunch of other shades that are great, really easy to use, super long wearing. Then Makeup Revolution, the matte blush. This one is in the shade Fusion. It's just a great kind of like pinky every day. From Bare Minerals, this is the Gen Nude blush. Again, a little more pink in Pink Me Up. And something that doesn't look like much, but it's actually a really delightful blush. This is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love, and uh, it's a really, really great neutral. As always, there's an accidental theme for the lip products that I picked on this month, but uh, first up here we have, this is kind of going in the opposite order. I did this poorly, but this, actually, let me switch. Okay, now they're in the order they appear. So we have the Pure Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade FBF. Then this is pretty new from NYX. It is one of their slip teases. So it's kind of like a lip lacquer, this one here. And that's in the shade Urban Oasis. The Urban Decay Lo-Fi, this one is in the shade Fade. So I use that in the Get Ready With Me, another kind of brighter one. They're pretty cool. They're kind of like a stainy, moussey, lippy powder thing. From Koki, this is the Liquid Lipstick in the shade Serenity. My favorite lip gloss from the Zodiac collection is Capricorn. Just really, really beautiful shade. Then these are super cool. It's new from Givenchy and it is their uh, Le... Oh, wow, butchering. It is the Le Rouge Liquid and this one is in the shade Orange Plumettes. But they look like they look so freaking luxe but when you open it here, you can see that it's kind of got this fuzzy top with the opening, so you really only need to take out like a tiny bit. I took out way too much. Then uh, from Essence, I used to love these, so I thought I'd break it out again. I'm really on like a gloss thing right now, and this is right here. It's the uh, BB, Beauty Beauty <laughs> BB Beauty Bomb Lip Glosses, so it just has like a little tint to it. Then I mentioned this in my monthly favorites, but I still, I can't stop wearing it. I'm just so back into the pink game. So this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lipstick in Just Saiyan. And then from Sephora, I think that these lipsticks are so good. Their lip stories, really, really, I think they're like $10, super affordable, crazy amount of shades. So this one is in Hot in Havana, and I've been quite into the orange lips lately. So uh, it's a really, really gorgeous shade. Here in the bottom to finish off, we have some palettes and nail stuff. So the first is the Gen Nude Latte Palette. It. This is really gorgeous. Really, really great quality, super pigmented, blendable. Uh, really enjoying this. A great kind of just neutral if you're like a neutral warm kind of person. Then from Maybelline, this is the Lemonade Craze. I'm super late on this. Canada is just super late on it, but I really want to use it. And then the uh, Fenty Beauty Moroccan palette. I use this in that Get Ready With Me as well. Um, so if you're curious about a lot of these products, I have put them to use in other videos. And then um, I've, I've been quite happy with this so far. For my scent this month, I'm going to be trying out the newest from Terry Mugler. This is their Alien line, which I've really enjoyed most of their uh, Alien perfumes. This bottle is gorgeous and it's in the shade um in the shade oh my god somebody called out in a recent um fashion video that i did i think i said my jeans were in shade 13. that's just a habit but this is in the scent fragrance flora futura and then if you're wondering about my nails i actually got these done at a c and d event recently actually it was like over a week ago but i really wanted to show them to you because i think they're so cute and i normally don't do like nail art, but I like this kind of like more subtle-ish style of nail art. I didn't do it, someone else did, of course. But she recommended to me and gave me the Rescue RX. So when I take this off, I'm actually gonna put this on my nails for probably a week and just kind of try to strengthen them a little bit because although I love my nails, they, they get quite dry. So I need to do better at kind of moisturizing and giving this little treatment here. So excited to try this. So there you have it. That is everything that I'm testing out this month. I will try to link to all of the products and all of the kind of associated videos down below. And uh, stay tuned for lots of foundation reviews I'm you know as I keep continue to mention quite behind but uh, I really want to give the foundation some time and be able to test them out so makeup forever is coming next and uh, if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye